So I'm in my 2016 Ford Mustang GT and I know it's a little bit unusual video usually I do phones or computer stuff but since it's a tech channel today I decided that I'm gonna do this video as well and today I'm gonna try to upgrade my Ford Sync 3 system to the latest version and unfortunately since I have 2016 Ford Mustang GT I'm not able to get over the air upgrades and I'm also not able to get the upgrades on the website because even if I check the latest version of the Sync 3 it says that 3.0 is the latest version and that's just the way Ford does things I don't know if we ever gonna get the upgrade but honestly I know that 3.4 has been out for a long time and I just want to upgrade to that version all right so I'm next to my computer and the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is that there is actually no available update from Ford for Sync 3.0 to 3.4 for my Mustang. As you can see it says Sync is up to date and current version Sync 3 3.0. So yeah there is no official update so we're gonna be using actually the company called Cyan Labs that created a free tool that will let us download that on a USB stick and then we'll be able to upgrade it by using the USB stick. So yeah this is not officially approved by Ford and guys I'm doing it at my own risk and I'm not responsible for anything broken. You're gonna be doing it at your own risk as well. So we're on the Cyan Labs page and here's the Ford Sync 3 automated method update to 3.4. And here's some of the disclaimers that say that this has been extensively tested by many people with many different cars with no issues. So nobody's responsible for the actions that you perform. If you proceed, you will be unable to return to anything below 3.2 after following this procedure. So I'm not sure how this is gonna play with the 2016 Ford Mustang GT because currently I'm at 3.0 but I would assume it's gonna work so let's check what we need so the first thing that we need is we're gonna have to have a USB stick and I already got one and the first thing I suggest you do is make sure that you don't have anything on it even though it does recommend 8 gigabyte in size I suggest that you go with at least 32 they're pretty cheap these days I have 128 so grab one of those and you're gonna format it it will ask you to format it again, but if you want to be extra sure, you can just format it again. And we're going to need to format it to XFAT file format. So we're going to right click on this, click format, and leave this as XFAT. And you can leave the quick format and click start. After that, click OK. And format complete. Now we're good to go. So the next thing is to download this program that we're going to install on our computer. So Here's the Sync 3 updater, so we're going to click right here, get Sync 3 updater. And it's going to take us to the next page, and over here you can scroll down, and under Downloads right here you can see Updater Installer. So you're going to click on that, going to remove the ads. It says your download will begin shortly, so let's wait for it download to download. And it should have downloaded already. Let's go ahead and check in the downloads. And here's our installer, so double click on that, click Next. You can leave the file location as like this or you can change it click install and you can leave this as well and click finish here you got a little message that sync 3 updater has been updated to stable version 2.11.10.0 maybe by the time you're watching this video you already the version is going to be even higher and you're going to read and accept the disclaimer before you continue and it says here that this software North Science Labs is licensed or endorsed by Ford you're going to click I understand and accept and here's where this is going to start. All right, so once we're here, the first thing that you're going to see is you need to enter your current version of the Sync 3. You can take a picture of this in your car and then check the version as you see over here. Mine is 3.0, as you could have seen, and the build number is going to be right over here. So you can grab that, or what you can do, you can go to your Ford.com. As you can see, this version is going to be right over here as well. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it over here. The next thing is going to be to select your region. So I am in the United States, so this is going to be United States for me. You're going to select your region. And if you have navigation, then you need to check this. If you don't have navigation in your car, then don't check this. I'm going to check it because I do have nav. So configuration, download file, this you can leave it default. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, don't put it for the USB stick because this is where they download the configuration but not install it. Installing is going to be on the next screen. And over here, application options, you can leave them untouched or you can change the language if you need to. I'm, I'm just going to leave it untouched. And for advanced options, also, you can leave it like this. Install mode, you can leave auto detect. 
So I'm going to click apply settings. And now you need to select your USB drive that we formatted before. So what you're going to do, you're going to click the drop down and select your USB disk. In my case, this is this one. Then the new version region, we're going to select again, you select your region. I select United States version. I'm going to download the latest version. At the moment of recording of this video, this is the latest version, which is 3.4.23188. So that's what I'm going to select. And for the map version, I'm also going to select the latest 2.22 version for North America. So I'm going to click on that. And over here, there is going to be packages and I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to click start. Over here, you're going to get a little warning that says that you need to answer these questions correctly. Is your car manufactured in 2020 or newer? Or is your SYNC 3 unit manufactured in 2020 or newer? Is your SYNC 3 screen manufactured in 2020 or newer? So if you have 2020 or newer SYNC 3 system or your car is 2020 or newer, most likely that this might break your system. So I suggest that you say yes and you stop uh, this process. But otherwise, you're going to click no. And it says that Cyan Labs are not responsible if you answer incorrectly. So I'm going to click no. And it's going to say that all data on the selected drive on your USB stick is going to be lost. Click yes to format and continue. So I'm going to click yes. And it's going to install the installer on the USB stick. So let's just wait for it to finish. Quick note here, as you can see, install mode is reformat. And the reason it is reformat is because there is no way to upgrade it. So they have to reformat the system. So it detected it automatically based on the system that you put in that you have and also what you want to upgrade it to. All right, and as you can see, it just completed. It took about an hour and 20 minutes for me to copy all the files. And now what it says is that you simply eject the USB from your computer and insert in your car, turn the engine on and wait for the install process to begin. All right, so now you just take the USB stick, take it to your car and I'm gonna put some gas and I'm gonna drive around because the installation from what I've heard and seen takes about 40 to 50 minutes and you can turn off your car. So let's go ahead and do that all right so once you're inside the car the first thing that you're going to do you're going to take the usb stick and you're going to insert it into the usb port and then you're just going to start the car it says updating system software and it's going to restart the system showed a weird message for a second but now you can see that the upgrade has started. Let me try to focus. You're gonna see this cool animation. And again, as I said, it's supposed to take about 40 to 50 minutes, but I'm gonna let you know how long it took me specifically. So you guys know, don't turn off the car. So I'm just gonna drive around, leave it on maybe once I go places and we'll check back when it's done. All right guys, quick update. It's been 25 minutes and it looks like it's about 60% done. Or actually it just jumped just now and it looks like it's already 80% done. So let's see how it goes. Let me quickly show you. As you can see guys, 20, almost 25 minutes passed and it's what looks like eight, about 80%. So let's just wait a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you if it did upgrade and guys as you can see it's done it's been literally a minute after I recorded the update and it's already done update successful please remove your USB so I'm just gonna remove the USB now from the USB port and let's see what happens all right, looks like it's restarting. Yep, the logo came up. And it's done, guys. Message. Do you want to turn on the following features? Automatic updates and sync diagnostics. Sure. Check for updates automatically. Okay. Not now. 
and that is it guys okay it looks like it worked and from what I've heard it actually is gonna keep all your settings but I don't know after format if it does that and honestly I don't remember if I had any settings because I honestly only use climate here and then I use it for Android Auto mainly so I'm not 100% sure so I can't confirm on that but looks like everything works uh, is it snappier? Uh, I feel like it's about the same it definitely looks better in my opinion and cleaner with updated fonts and theming but I don't feel like it's that much faster than what it used to be like definitely not the swipes they're about the same but it looks nicer yeah so what I've also heard is that it's best to do the uh, master reset after this to kind of clean up stuff so I'm just gonna do master reset after I come back because I gotta I gotta leave now but yeah looks like it's working and that is it